Sir, we are group 2. We talk about that at least four practices on board where accidents are common and how to avoid them. But first of all, I explain the introduction about the program of IMO for Marine Environmental Protection. IMO has over many decades developed and adopted mandatory rules as well as recommendations and guidelines to protect the marine environment from any potential negative impact of shaping activities. One of the key conventions protecting the ocean is the International Convention for Prevention of Pollution from Ships Marpol. Marpol was first adopted in 1973 with annexes covering the prevention of pollution from ships by oil, by chemical, carried in bulk by packaged goods, by sewage and garbage from ships. The convention was expanded in 1997 to regulate the air pollution and emission from ships. Oh, good morning sir, I am Axel Paul Icaracol and this video is all about oil, chemicals, harmful substances from ship. Due to their cargo, tankers pose a particular risk to environment. The International Maritime Organization or IMO has the declared aim to render the transport of oil and products by tankers safe and environmentally. The Marine Environmental Protection Committee MEPC, of the IMO has established internationally mandatory regulations for oil tankers. By adoption of Annex 1 of the International Convention of Protection of Marine Pollution from Ships Marpol. Hello everyone, I'm Cadet Berliso Aljr. Ships, Sewage and Garbage. The IMO advises to maintain efficient garbage management on board and subsequently a discharge at an appropriate reception facility in a port. In doing so, the shipping companies must also consider the applicable national and local provision regarding garbage disposal. Air Pollution from Ship The International Maritime Organization or IMO has recognized this issue and has adopted several measures. The largest impact will stem from the gradual reduction of the sulfur content in the shape exhaust gases. The maritime industry offers several technological solutions to reach this goal, among which are totally friendly fuels. Anti-fouling paints. All ships of 400 cruise tonnage and above in international trade must have a TBT, free anti-fouling coating on their hull, or must have applied an approved sailor coat. Further details of the hull coating are listed in the supplement of the International EFA Certificate or in the EFS Declaration. Ships under 400 gross tonnage need only an EFS declaration which can be issued by the ship owner himself based on information provided by the paint manufacturer.